Hello everyone, welcome to the Flight Sim Deck. The number one question I get asked are what my settings are for various things, chase plane, prepared, uh, Rex, texture direct, you know, all of that. So I decided instead of making a video where I go into each program and show you the settings, I've created an extremely easy way for you to get the settings. So I built this website, theflightsimdeck.com. Um, it's been around for about a year. Uh, I just updated it and I got, you know, a bunch of new settings on here and it's even easier than before. So it starts out as the home page. Um, I have a button here that takes you to the channel, but you're probably already coming from there, so it doesn't matter. Um, you can go over to uh, my rig and I list everything that I have in my computer along with my flight controls. Each one is linked if you uh, would like to purchase a GeForce 1080 Ti. I have linked it right to a store where you can find it. So everything is linked, uh, all these um, all these for the flight controls, everything is linked so you can easily get to them. Then it comes the settings, which I have various things. Um, these are all linked as well. I have max settings, high, medium, low, the CFG file, my control setup, which is um, for my controls, my yoke, and my throttle, if you want to use the same settings I use. And then I have uh, some instructions on how to install it. Uh, but basically, these are the profiles I use. You, you can just download them, plug them in to your um, prepared version 4 files under uh, my documents. And they will work in a drop-down menu when you go to your settings. Now, low settings, it's uh, pretty self-explanatory. It's it's low. I, I created all these, so I, I'm pretty much covered in every situation. If I'm getting poor frames, I'll just drop it down to low. Medium is the one I mainly use. It's my most preferred. High settings, uh, I can usually get away with that sometimes with uh, smaller aircraft. Depends where I am. And then max settings um, isn't really for running at all. It, it's uh, horrible on frames, but it is good if you want to take pictures. Uh, this picture here was taken... Um, with max settings and then even the home page this is the new flight beam ksfo on maxed out settings i just do that to get the best quality for taking a picture next i have my chase plane settings um, i'm going to break this down by each profile for each plane so you have the 737 a320 cessna 172 you'll have all of those eventually I have not gotten around to that yet but for now i just have a, a couple of images if you want to get the same zoom and camera shake that I have for the 737 for instance so those are there but yeah, come back I'll have those all set up I got my settings for Rex 4 uh, you can enlarge the image here to look at it or you can just download the theme and plug it in and run the same theme that I run I change it often but uh, you know this is like the main one I run I have my Nvidia inspector profile that you can also download and then these are all the add-ons that I use. Once again, each one is linked directly to the store where you can buy it. This is Orbex, and uh, you can purchase it there. I got all of them here. I, I do use SimTweaks PTA, but I use Matt Davies Profile. Uh, so, you know, I haven't changed anything with that. But that's all the stuff I run, and those are my settings. So you come over here to Downloads. Uh, these are cockpit panels that I drew in Adobe Illustrator for the 737. I just kind of did it for fun, and they're um, they're true to life scale. They might not be exact to you know like the millimeter to the point, but um, I have them pretty close to what I think is the actual dimensions from um, different things I read, different sources and stuff. So I have all of these. You can download them as an Adobe Illustrator file. Uh, this one here isn't complete yet, but I decided to add it anyway. And you have the Illustrator file, so if you want to you know use it uh, for some reason, the uh, photo's not coming up, but I'll fix that, uh, but but the link works to get the Illustrator file. And when you have it in Adobe Illustrator, you can manipulate everything. Uh, this file is the most organized one I have. I have everything broken down by the panel, as you can see here. They're all labeled. You can go in, mess with all the pieces. Um, spent a lot of time making this, and just for people who want to print it out as a novelty or... Um, you know, use it for um, cockpit building. You know, it's a good starting point if you want to add on to it and do different things with it. It's a it's a good place for you to start. So, um, and like I said, like you can print this out. Like this is the one I use on my uh, yoke. Like if you come back over to my rig, and uh, here, I actually printed this out and um, put it on some foam core, stuck it to the yoke. 
So that's one thing you can do with those. And uh, that's pretty much it for the downloads. Actually, no, I forgot to mention uh, Windows and Sound. I actually have these uh, windows. These are shots that I actually took in uh, a 737. And you can use them for free. I don't mind. Um, either if you're taking a picture and you want to post on Instagram, you can overlay this. Um, you can. E there's even ways to do it where when you're in the simulator, it'll show up. Um, there's tutorials on how to do that. So you can have these windows. They're free to use. They're, um, the glass is taken out, so whatever you put it over, you know, you'll see. And I also have sounds that I've uh, recorded on flights that I've used. You can use these in your videos if you show a wing shot, you know, or, or there's also ways to add these into the, the simulator too, to add these sounds. So I got, you know, the sounds of, of uh, the airplane boarding, safety briefing done by a female, a male, and then cruise sounds. And I'm going to add a lot more to these. But, uh, yeah, these are what I have over here. And then I have my uh, my patron account if you want to become a patron. Um, basically, I don't monetize the website at all because I just don't like the cluttered look to it. So if you want to help support the website, you can you can donate there. If not, that's cool too. I don't like to push it on anybody. I just put it there. And, you know, if you want to, you want to. And, um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it with that. Um, this goes to YouTube. This goes to my Instagram. A lot of people um, don't know I have an Instagram. You know, I put I put a lot of uh, aviation stuff from my simulator. Put some extra stuff like, you know, it's a, it's a clip of me uh, skateboarding, which is, you know, one of my favorite sports to do. So, you know, I put a little extra stuff like that from my from my life. But a lot, of, a lot of pictures and, um, yeah, all kinds of stuff you can check out on there. And then, uh, lastly, I do have the uh, Flight Sim Deck Facebook page, so you can head over there. But, uh, all right, everybody, that's going to do it for that. If you'd like my settings, this is where they will be very easy for you to obtain. So, uh, there you go. All right, everybody, thank you so much for checking this out. Uh, hope it helps you out. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.